Hmm, do we have pork for support? I think we do. I have enough uh, hairspray and enough uh, hair oil and gel. And I also have enough uh, of the gallows. Hello? Anybody home? Are we, are we asking for me? Oh, is that my very first customer? A brand new which one of my friends it is. Hello, it's me, Unicorn. And I want my hairs did today. It's been so long I've had my hairs did. And I need some new brand new unicorn colors in my hair. Oh, and can I possibly order a side of a new Big Sister? Hey, you know, Big Sisters aren't exactly for sale. It's not Big Sisters RS, you know. It's the Hair Girl Salon. Why well, wanna see a new hairdo? <laughs> Hello, unicorn. Sorry, I was just folding the towels in the other section of the salon. What can I do for you today? I want a hairdo. And a new big sister. I don't think we have enough space at home for another big sister. Plus, the original is always the best. Nay, nay, nay. Uh, you and your pony now, they don't make ponytail. Well, I don't make a uh, big sister's hair either. I make hair magic, not big sister magic. Well, you do now. So what was that? I know you guys make big sister's hair. Diva, why are you lying to me? This is the hair wash one. It has all kinds of magic. Oh boy, here we go again. Oh, this is interesting. Grab some popcorn and, and let's have a seat. Who cares about hair right now when we can see the making of a new OMG system? I'll call dibs on the shower bowl seat. Ugh. Hey everyone, it's Cupcake here. That is right, we are at the Hair Goal Salon and we're gonna make a brand new sister, an OMG sister, for a unicorn. And we're gonna do that using Busy BB. She's the perfect match. Oh, uh-uh, uh count me out of this. I have nothing to do with this big sister makeover. But it's our job to take OMG sisters and make them into other OMG sisters that they don't even wanna be. Oh, when you put it that way, okay. Alrighty then, now that's a sport. First step up is to cut off all of her hair. I don't want to do it just as much as you guys don't want to see it, but we're just gonna have to. No worries, I have the prettiest hair that we're gonna be rerouting right back into her head. And we'll be donating these pigtails to the Hair Goal Salon. Wonderful, I can make some beautiful wigs out of it. Mm-hmm, speaking of beautiful hair, I've got all of these lovely, very good quality nylon hairs from the Doll Planet. So for the pink, we've got Rinny. For the beautiful purple, we've got Espion. For the minty green, we've got Whimsy. And for white, we've got, of course, a White Noise. All right, so here we go with cutting off her hair. Try not to cry. Now that her hair is off, you guys know the next step. Time to get the plastic nice and soft so I can take off the head and take out the rest of the hair with my tweezers. Wow, you look amazing. Okay, time's up. Her head should be super soft and easy to remove without breaking the neck plug. I really like OMG neck plugs now, but I didn't at first because they were just so weird and I couldn't get them off easy. But that was only because I wouldn't soak it for long enough in the hot water. Anyways, let's go ahead and start taking out that hair.
Okay, before we start painting her head, I'm actually gonna buff it out to give it a nice grit and have it better cling on to the new paint. All right, her head has a nice texture to it. It's feeling kind of rough, but not too rough, which is where we want it to be. And now it's time to paint. I'm gonna start off with an all white base first, and then I'll move on to where I want the colors. So I've got my hair and I've got my spray. I'm gonna wet the hair before I start rerouting. That'll just help it separate better and help me get the minimum amount on my rerouting tool. We've got all of her hair rooted. 
She is looking ever so lovely. And now, taking some fabric tack, I'm going to glue all of that hair down. Then we're going to give her a boil wash to tame those crazy, crazy locks and give her a haircut. Oh, that's lovely. Ow! Oh, my, my, my. You're going to love this new wig. Ow! Sorry! It seems that new tail's a little swippily. Um, are you sure this is the right wig for me? It feels a little, well, heavy. Ow! Yo, but don't you worry. I'll find you something that's better suited for you. Wow, Sissy, you got a big head. And we're back after her hair has been boil washed. She is now ready for a haircut. Starting off with her ends, they are looking very raggedy, Anne. So we're gonna cut that off and give her some lovely trimmed locks. cut her hair and her bangs I'm gonna straighten out those bangs because they're kind of lopsided but before I do that I'm gonna get some of this clear glue in her bangs to kind of be like hairspray and keep the bangs down nice and sleek and that way we can cut it straighter than it is right now is drying we can start working on painting her face now her bangs are straight it's just the green side is lifting up a little more at the root so when you press it down it's straight so I don't want to cut it anymore anywho So hair and paint are done, now it's time to work on her outfit. And you guys know, I don't like sewing and working on outfits too much, but it has to be done. After all, an outfit really pulls a doll together. And I do want to stay true to the OMG doll vibe with the outfit and the aesthetic and just trying to get it overall sweet but edgy at the same time. Especially since we're working on Big Sister Unicorn. So you guys know who's coming in. My best friend Bertha. But before we can even begin having fun with Bertha, we've got to design ourselves an outfit. And this is probably the most unicorn-esque fabric I have right now. So we've got this. 
an assortment of a whole bunch of other fabrics. These probably look familiar to you because I use them to make the ball gowns for our winter disco. There's also these. So I do have a nice option of fabrics to work with. Coming up with an outfit that is true to the OMG style is the difficult part. That's when I get to call my style and design team. Oh, that's right. I don't have one. So I've kind of sketched out a little bit of what I want her outfit to look like, but this is just an idea. As things move forward, sometimes things take a turn for the better or for the worse. So we'll see how this outfit making process pans out. Now Candylicious is probably the sweetest OMG doll made. She has a kawaii look to her, but mostly OMG dolls have an edgy angles, downtown BB, busy BB, those type of looks to them. Look at the pretty color shift on this fabric. It is so hollow and pretty. Let's flip it on the wrong side, fold it in half, so we have two pieces of whatever we're gonna make. I made patterns based off of Angle's outfit. So here are the pants, if I wanna make one solid pant, if I wanna make a block pattern pant like Angle's pants for OMG Unicorn, then I also have the pieces for that based off of those pants. I have my old pattern for the top, and I have a pattern for a jacket based off of Angle's jacket. The one thing I don't have a pattern for is a skirt. And I'm gonna use Up Down Girl's skirt to make a pattern for that. This way, hopefully, I won't mess up too bad while working with the actual fabric since I've got my blueprint ready on the paper. Not half bad. I'm actually impressed with these pants. Let's try it out. Could it be I finally got it right on the first try? 
Well, I got spices right on the first try too, but hers is a little too tight. Let's see if this fit is perfect for Big Sister Unicorn's body. <gasps> I think that's a perfect fit! Well, it's a little bit baggy up top, but I still haven't added the Velcro strip, which I will be doing in just a little bit. But aside from that, those look like official OMG pants. And they actually fit. So here is my Velcro strip. I've got the spiky side and the fuzzy side already stuck together. And it's got a sticky backing. That'll help me place it on the pants and sew it much easier. Before I move on to the next piece, I'm actually going to add a little bit more detail to these pants. I think we could add some more unicorn colors in there. And I'm gonna do that using some fabric tack. We're gonna give her some faux fur with this beautiful bubblegum pink fur. Cause you know the OMGs love their fur. So now she has the option of a faux fur shawl or she could even wear it as a skirt. 
Our big sister Unicorn has a lot of outfit options now. She has her pants, her skirt, and her shawl. When she's wearing her skirt, I have an option of tights. Here she is with this skirt. If she wants to take this shawl off and wear it as a skirt also, she can just take it right off. I have a ribbon closure, making for easy on and easy off. She can also wear it like that. Of course, she'd need some shorts underneath that because we can see everything, but it's always nice to have options and we definitely have those. Speaking of shorts, let's make those right now using the block pant pattern and this fabric. Yep, we're making her a whole lot of pieces. I know you guys are probably thinking, Cupcake, you said you don't know how to sew. I don't and I don't know why I'm still making clothing items for OMG Unicorn. Call me crazy. And now I'm gonna start making her accessories. And of course I'm gonna do that with some warbler and a poxy sculpt. Taking my heat gun, of course, I'm going to heat the warbler up, which will make it nice and soft. Right now it's kind of crusty and hard. It's not bendable and we need it bendable. So here we go. something missing with her outfit so I have to make her some type of jacket using this vinyl fabric or the same fabric I used to make her shorts
made her some unicorn earrings and with those I'm going to add some pegs out of that warbler. to finish everything that we painted with some matte varnish. That'll help our paint stay where we put it. Yes, I spent all day at the salon. Uh-huh. Don't forget to tell your friends. You're at Diva's Beauty Salon. Exactly. We spent the whole day at the salon. Yay. Yay, yay, yay. Yeah, it was fun at first, but I'm getting tired. Appointment for one. Wow. She's finally here. Whoa. What is the weirdest thing? A hair salon that makes big sisters. You heard it here first. Come on, big sissy. Let's go so we can have a sweepover with all our big sisters. That sounds like an excellent idea. Don't forget to count us in too. Oh, mom, dad. Yeah, of course you guys can hang out at our sleepover if you really want to. Well, she's finally here. It took three days, but we ended up completing our unicorn family. And I'm actually super happy with the end result. The outfit pieces were not too hard this time around. I guess that saying is true, practice makes perfect. I wouldn't say I'm perfect at sewing, but I think I'm getting the hang of it. Let's start off with her hair. We rerouted her some beautiful colored hair from Doll Planet in the white, lavender, and mint green color. I also made her a unicorn headpiece out of Warbla and epoxy skull. At first I gave her the unicorn ears and then I wasn't feeling them so I took them off. I thought for the big sister, the cooler type of headpiece would be the unicorn crown without the ears. The ears will leave to the little kids. For her face, I painted her eyebrows. You can't really see because they're underneath her bangs and we gave her some blunt bangs that I fixed down with some clear glue. Her eyeshadow was perfect because I didn't have to do anything with it and it was actually in the plan to give her pink eyeshadow. Changed up her eye color. I kept the mole that Busy BB had because I just thought that was pretty. There was no reason to remove it and plus removing it would have meant removing some of the blush and I really like the blush she already has on. Gave her some pink lips. I also gave her removable unicorn horn earrings made out of epoxy sculpt and warbla. Her outfit, I made her a custom top with some really cool hollow fabric. I made her a vinyl top that looks like Neonlicious's dress. This fabric is pretty cool and I notice a lot of OMGs have this clear fabric. I think it pulls an OMG outfit together very nicely. If there are several things in common in all of the OMG dolls is that they like their shiny fake leather, they love their furs, and they love this clear see-through plastic. For her nails, instead of going with the pink, which I initially was going to do, I ended up doing the mint green because I didn't see enough of mint green going throughout her outfit. I didn't want an overhaul of pink, even though it is a unicorn color, still want to have some variation in there. So we went with the mint green, gave her a removable faux fur skirt that she could either wear as a shawl or as her skirt. So this will be her original look, but she's also got extra outfit pieces, which is a first for any of our DIY OMG dolls. Underneath her skirt, I gave her some bejeweled shorts. Very, very pretty. I love the sequins on there. For her socks, she's got some mesh fishnet socks. And let's turn her around so you guys can see the back. I gave her a lace-up back that ties off into little bows. And her shoes I actually borrowed from Candy Delicious. 
painted those gold and added a little bit more of that mint green in there. The bows were already pink, so it makes my life easier to not have to paint that one little part. It's pretty cool because her heels actually look like unicorn horns, so I thought that was a perfect fit. Now I know you guys want to see the other outfits on her, so we'll give her her outfit changes. Let's remove her skirt. You guys can take a better look at her shorts this way. So here is her lace-up skirt and her shorts. The cool thing about different clothing items is that you can interchange them between your dolls. And OMG dolls, as you guys know, are hard to find outfits for because they don't have fashion packs yet. So she could wear her top, of course, without her jacket. We've got all three unicorn colors in the little design she has on her neck. Here we go with her pants. They're so disco fabulous and hollow, just like her top. Here she is with that look. And she has the option of another skirt. This fabric is also a color shift fabric. It's really pretty and iridescent, so it's got a shift of green and purple in there. And here she is with that look. So she's got three looks. Let's have fun with it. You guys can choose in the comment section which look you guys like the best. Look number one, look number two, or look number three. Also, let me know what we should name our OMG Big Sister. And what a lovely family reunion. Oh, at my salon. And that's a wrap. OMG Unicorns got outfits galore, and it's the end of our show. Until next time, I will see you later. Bye for now.